Okay, we stopped here last time. We didn't answer this one, number six, right? Do you remember? Have we answered this one? That was the last thing that we answered together. Yes, yes, we did answer number six. Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, like yesterday, yes, are you will let someone read and um, anyone who could find the answer, raise your hand. Uh, who want to read? Hey. Okay, gone. Haley's comet is a potato shaped lump about 10 miles long with a mass estimated at 10 billion tons, most of which is water ice. Hmm. Okay, you know, uh, you know, read, this read is. Read only or answer? No, no, it's up to you. If you want to answer, raise your hand. Uh, no, this is the name of the comet. The name Haley is the name. You know, the comet, of course, is like a. A body that uh, uh, flies in the in the space. So this is the name of the comet. It's a potato-shaped lump, about ten miles long, with a mass estimated at ten billion tons, most of which is water ice. Where are your hands? Where are your hands? We are thinking. <laughs> Okay. Miss, uh, I'm not sure, but I think the, the error will be in letter D. In D? In D, yes. where you said with a mass? What's wrong here? Then most of it, I feel that. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel. Yeah, Miss, he said. I sound, not Miss, it's me. not. Uh, if it doesn't make sense? No, it's, it's a prepositional phrase, prepositional phrase with a mass, and it modifies the noun, which is uh, uh, the potato-shaped lump. The potato-shaped lump with a mass estimated at 10. Zina, you, you, ha you, you were saying something. Yeah, Miss Noor. Noor said that the error in D, not B. Ah, you said D, most of which? Miss, you said, uh, you, I said D, you thought that it, I said B? I said D. Oh, you said D. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, so what is D? Where is the mistake? Your answer, well, was it um, no, was B or D? D, D. You the, said D? The, before the last one. Which is most of which? Yeah. Um, no, there is no uh, no error here, T. The, the, the noun, this uh, uh, most of which, this is a noun phrase. Uh, we haven't studied, I know, noun phrase, but anyway, generally, um, it refers to the word, um, uh, the, the mass. This mass, she most is, of which this is mass no is... Uh, your answer is? There's no error. Uh, that's right, there is no error. There's no error in the sentence at all. Everything goes well. Should we move to the next question? The next one, or we you need more explanation? If you doubt one of them, you tell me. If you doubt one of those uh, underlined parts, so you can tell me. No, you must. Okay. Let's move to number seven. Okay. Anyone want to read? Can um can I ask you a favor? I'm sorry. Um, can we just uh, uh, we will we will not answer seven. Let's answer number eight. The great white. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Let's enter the great white shark. Uh, why will not answer seven? Um, it's something you haven't studied yet. So okay. let me let it be eight. Okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I Eight. can I read or? Are you the, our reader? 
<laughs> Our narrator for this session. Okay, go on. Okay. The great white shark is more infamous of all shark. The star of Peter Benchley's best-selling novel *Jaws*, uh, for uh, Hollywood movies and many television specials. Of course, I know for Hollywood movies, you speak about this uh, novel. Yes. It's yes. a more explanation. Okay, Hannah, go on. Uh, the air is uh, in A. Okay, that's right. Why? It should be uh, the great white shark is the most infamous. Yes, excellent. Excellent. It's supposed to be uh, most. Do you know for a reason? We have here of all shark. So this, uh, this preposition phrase uh, is supposed to be preceded by um, a, a super, sup, superlative form of the adjective, which is to, supposed to be must, the must in famous uh, shark, not not the form, not the comparative form more. Uh, so this is more appropriate. That's right, excellent. Uh, maybe you will tell me we haven't studied yet, but it's uh, something well known: the, uh, the the superlative and the comparative form. The, it's a well known rule. Any question for eight? Can we move to the next one? Mm, okay, number nine. Number nine. I want to read. I want to read. May I ask? Go on, Zima. I'm relying on them for a large scale water storage uh, and for delivering water to places where it doesn't naturally occur have long-term effects on the balance between groundwater and surface water and on the quality of the surrounding soil. Okay, thank you. Where do you think the, the error is? No hands at all? Really? Miss uh, uh, number nine, right? Yes, nine. Okay. Look. Relying on dams for large scale water storage and for delivering water to places where it doesn't naturally occur have long term effects on the balance between groundwater and surface water and on the quality of the surrounding soil. Zina, go on. I'm not sure, okay? No problem, we are we are just learning. You see, we have... Okay, whoa, 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 we have a lot of people raising their hand. Okay, go on. Hmm. I think the wrong... Uh, the error is in uh, B. In B? Uh, where? Yes. Why? You know, uh, there is supposed to be a comma before where? Um... um no, actually, no, because the um, uh, it's essential here, so we we, we don't need to, uh, to to put a comma here. Okay, but thank you for yes. your trial. Yes, it's reasonable. Type Yuana. Yuana. I will say like uh, Zina. Okay, Me. okay, and you heard my answer. Yes, it's okay. wrong. Amen. Thank you. Amen. I think, I think it's C. Okay, that's right. It's C. What's wrong here? Having. Having? Yeah, a cure, a cure having long, or has I don't know. Uh, well, the, the 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 mistake is in C. That's right. But uh, what having? What yeah. the no, not having at all. Just uh, let's read the sentence again. He said, relying on dams for large scale water storage. Okay. And for delivering water to places where it doesn't naturally occur. What about all these things? What about the relying on dams? Huh? Have long term effects when we rely on dams. So he speak about relying. This is my subject. Try to understand the sentence. 
relying on dams and dams for large scale water storage and for delivering so my subject here is relying on dams yeah this is my subject now where is the verb relying on dams have long-term effects on balance between groundwater and surface water now do you think that the the, the verb agree with the subject no we have here yes a lack of uh, uh, of subject verb agreement because le relying is singular and have is plural so it's supposed to be has yes that's right it's supposed to be has hmm? any more explanation for this one okay no thank you you're welcome number 10 Number 10. Let's read it first and then we will discuss it. Yeah, I'm the one who reads someone. I volunteer to read the sentence. May I, you miss? <laughs> yeah, you, the volunteers it goes between Noor and Zina. What about <laughs> the others? We are uh, lazy. Reading. You are the narrators? Okay, Zena, go on. Okay, yes. Uh, despite a protest by 300 angry drivers, the five members of the bridge uh, authority voted unanimously uh, to raise the passenger car to a uh, toll on the bridge from $1 to $2. And that. You know what is the toll? No. It, okay, do you know uh, in uh, Suez Road? Yes. We have tolls that we pay to pass before Medina. Oh, Chief. yes, okay. This is the toll. Yes, yes. So, despite a protest by 300 angry drivers, people driving, they have make a pro uh, they protest against this toll. The five members of the bridge authority who voted uh, um, the uh, anonymously, it means uh, insistingly, they insisted on this to raise the the, the the cost that they will pay on the toll from one dollar to two dollars yeah think do we have a mistake or not and where if there is so where is it miss can I ask a question ask a question what is the meaning uh the word after voted. I said it insistingly. Okay. We insisted on raising. Miss, I'm not sure, but it will be uh, no error. You are okay. sure. You're supposed to be sure. Be confident. That's right. There's no error in the sentence at all. No error. <laughs> yes. But if anyone suspects any of those, let's discuss the uh, your answer. If, did, did you suspect any of those uh, other choices from A, B, C, D, or D, I mean? No. At no. all? Yes. No. Okay. Great. So all of you have the same answer. This I consider this number 11. The harpsichord, it's uh, a type of um, a musical instrument. No volunteer? To read it's only? It's supposed to be Nurba. <laughs> 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 yes, let her rest for a while. <gasps> yes, go on, Noor. Is it the uh, uh, harp? Harpsichord? It's a musical, okay. harp chord, it's a musical instrument. Okay. Uh, they're sound made by quills plucking strings that are stretched, uh, stretched uh, over, over a soundboard, dominated European music in the... Uh, I mean, I can't see well. I've yes, okay, the, the dominated European music in the 17s. They were replaced. Okay, in the 17th, they were replaced late in the century uh, by the fourth piano. 
Yeah. In which hammer struck the strings. Okay, so it's a, it's a kind of musical instrument, and uh, he described that the the sound made by quills. You know the quills? It, um, it's like um, uh, mm. a, I tell you, the quills is like the um, uh, the, the feather. Uh, uh, may uh, uh, and the strings are made of feather that are stretched over a soundboard, and uh, the the uh, the people in Europe Europe uh, they use this instrument during the 17th, and then those things have been replaced later in the century by some another thing another machine or an instrument called the fourth piano, in which hammers struck the strings. Uh, they use hammers. To, um, um, to to strike the strings, not they didn't use their, uh, uh, the quilts. Do you understand? This? They, they use quilts to head the strings of the harpy court. But the new one now, they use hammers. I'll try to search for you the, the yes, yes uh, the, the, how do they look? But I need to just to stop the sharing first. Now, where do you think the, it, it or do you think there is a mistake? If there is, where is it? No error. Uh, no error? Hey, this is the easiest answer, or you are sure that there is no error? Hi, and have you checked every... And the I, uh, one. I read the, uh, I read the question on the field. Sure, and you, you have checked everything. The, you, you have checked the uh, the punctuation. Have you checked the um, uh, the usage of the preposition? All these things. Yes. Can I answer? Mm. Okay. Who? Uh, did you raise your hand? Amen. Can I listen to Mahmoud first because he raised his hand and then I uh, I listen to you. Mahmoud, <laughs> Mahmoud gone again. Excellent. Yes, excellent, excellent. That's right, excellent, Mahmoud. Why is C? Yeah. Excellent. So this comma is not appropriate here. What are we supposed to use? You do want to use comma. So what we supposed to do? What is the correction I mean? Okay. Then why did you choose? You said that the, the mistake is in the comma. Because there's no... It's hmm? not... Uh, there's no... Okay, the comma. The conjunction. And no, Taib, okay, uh, ma, that's correct. Now you mean that the, the comma here comes between... Uh, two complete or two independent clauses, right? The comma here comes between two independent clauses. The first one starts from the harpy's chord till the 17th. This is the first one. The second one to start from they were replaced till the word strings. Now, those, the, if this is a, a compound sentence, have two independent clauses, but the mistake is in connecting them or joining them together. We cannot join them with comma. We join them with what, Mahmoud? Semicolon. But thank you. That's it. The, the the correction is to join them together with semicolon instead of the uh, uh, of the comma. Excellent. Yes. Great job. Thank you, Mahmoud. Okay. Twelve. May I, Yamas? <laughs> May I reading right? <laughs> yes. Okay, go on. Vanilla is currently one of the most popular. Vanilla. Old... Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> mm. Vanilla is currently one of the most popular of all uh, species in flavorings, and, and is found on not only in foodstuffs, and also in perfumes and cosmetics. Mm. Vanilla is currently one of the most popular of all spices and the flavorings and is found not only in food stuff and also in perfumes and cosmetics. Amen. Uh, D. B. D. 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 And also? 
Okay, yeah. correct. Okay, fine. Where the mistake? Uh, it should be comma, like delete and, and put comma also. Or you can say and uh, in perfumes. Uh, can you read this and is found not only in food stuff and also? But also. <laughs> so, huh? you see, it's, you said it. You said it uh, using your instinctive. You, you you didn't think. You feel that this is the is supposed to be the the sense of this the sentence. Not only, but also, right? Yeah. So because we have here this, we call this the uh, uh, this is one type of a conjunction which is not only but also. So, uh, but also supposed to, to to appear here instead of and also. So the correction is. Uh, um, uh, and is found not only in food stuff but also in perfumes and cosmetics. Any question for twelve or more explanation or do you suspected another one? Or another one? No. Uh, okay, number thirteen. Should I hire some volunteers to read for money? Should I hire Can them I'm for money? Can I hear yes, Mustafa. How much? Okay. <laughs> How much? Yes. Yeah, I, I, I can pay you in grades then. Grades? Grades? No, I yes. need one. <laughs> Two pounds for each word, yes. Grades, grades, no money. <laughs> it's for grades. Iman, you said you can read? Yeah. Yeah, go on. Number 13. I think but it will be the last one. Hmm. Electricity trans, uh, transmission grid consisting of two, 200,000 200, miles of high voltage lines that carry power across the United States, northern Mexico, and most of the ca Canada. A, uh, a grid uh, and most grid. of Canada, yes. A grid divided into two lo uh, loosely connected sections called inter interconnect. Interconnect. No error. Okay, we're not reading. This is not your answer. You are reading only. The electricity transmission grid consisting of 200,000 200, miles of high voltage lines that carry power across the United States, northern Mexico, and most of Canada, a grid dividing into two loosely connected sections called interconnects. Uh, Hannah. The error is in B. The errand is in B, this one, the carry. Yes, it should be carries. Um, well, yeah, actually, no, the, um, no error here. It's appropriate to, do you know, do you know carry here? It's appropriate with the, um, um, with the closest idea that carry power across the United States. He, um, um, the, he is speaking about the electricity transmission uh, of 200,000 miles of high voltage that carry power across the United States. Um, uh, no, the, the carry here it match with the with the electricity because we we are speaking about the uh, transmission itself. It ha because he, later on he said it uh, consists of uh, 200,000 miles of high voltage lines. So lines here is plural. So carry match with with the with the plural um, uh, subject. Iman, you what you are you raising your hand? Yeah. Okay, go on. Uh, it's A. It's A, that's right. Uh, it should be consist, not consisting. Yes, excellent, excellent, that's right. The, the, the mistake is in consisting here. Why? Because the consisting here is um, a, a participle. It's a present participle. So I can't bend or I can't use a present participle or a, a form of the verb as a main verb of the sentence. So um, it, it doesn't it doesn't function like a main verb. So the supposed to be uh, consist. If we put it if we put this consisting here, I will 
expect or I will call this sentence fragment sentence. It's a fragment or a sentence fragment. It's a part of, it's missing something, I mean. So the correction is supposed to be the electricity transmission grid consists of 200,000 miles of high voltage line that carry. Carry here, match with lines. You speak about lines. It refers, that here refers to lines. Okay, thank you very much. I have really enjoyed this extra session with you. Uh, now, I think that tomorrow you will not have a session. Um, you will have only the session that you have for the, before the exam, I mean, and, and you will have uh, the second language session only. Um, yes. You can send to me on WhatsApp if you have a problem with something, so we can revise. If you want me to have extra session tomorrow, I don't have problem. Uh, you can send to me on WhatsApp, and I will uh, prepare myself, but just today. Okay. If you need Mr. extra session, Sunday, I will take tomorrow. Hmm. We will we'll, we'll have uh, revision on Sunday, right? Before ah, yes, the yes before, the, before the exam, that's right. But if you, you can help me, you can help me by uh, sending me the thing that uh, you need me to explain more or revise or recap. Okay. You need extra session tomorrow, I don't mind. Just send me on WhatsApp. I can, I can take another session uh, for you tomorrow, no problem. Okay, Mr. Okay, thank you very much and uh, good luck for you tomorrow. Really? And keep yourself safe. See you. Bye bye. Okay. Yes, Mahmoud. Uh, what is the reason in the exam? Because you know, uh, study material. Uh, there is what, Mahmoud? There is no study material. Uh, yes, yes. I, uh, someone uh, told me yesterday on WhatsApp, and I will, I will send it to you on uh, today. I, I, okay. I, yes, I will inform you on the WhatsApp that I have sent it. Okay. Okay, Mahmoud. Any, any question? No. Okay. Thank you. Enjoy your day, dear. All of you. Yeah. Bye bye.